Trend What's in here for PSP Sports. I'm lucky enough to be joined by Lenny Dawes. How are you, Lenny? I'm good, yes. Yeah. How are you feeling after the press conference today? Yeah, I feel fine, relaxed, very confident now that I've seen him. Um, just looking forward to it. How have you done making weight? Yeah, it's not, it's not not a problem making the weight, you know, it's just knowing when it is and that's it really, as you say, you, you work everything out. Um, yeah, just can't wait now, obviously that's the next thing, get that out of the way and then you're more chilled, but it's not going to be a problem anyway, so I'm excited now. There's probably not more um, experienced man in European title fights, obviously this is your third actual European title fight now. Very uh, wrongly robbed uh, on two occasions, as pretty much everyone agrees with that as well. Is that playing on your mind going into this third fight in European? Um, you know, I've heard things, it's his last opportunity and that, but the, the experience I've gained from the last two fights is going to help me in this one. Um, you know, I've, I've been in a lot of 12 round fights anyway, so the experience I've got over Anthony, um, I've got to use that. I've got to use that in this fight, um, and I'm sure that's what's, what's going to be the key factor in this, and, and hopefully I can lift this belt. But a much bigger man, I realise, today as well, a much bigger man. Do you think that's going to play a lot into this fight as well? I'm a lot taller, we know he's, you know, obviously he likes to fight inside, um, so we know he's going to come to us. Uh, if he doesn't, we, we just adjust to him round by round, but yeah, my um, height and reach is going to be a, a big part of this fight as well. Um, but we'll just see it round by round and take it from there, really, yeah. But it's just looking forward to Saturday night. It was very well reported that Mick Hennessy tried to get the rematch with Nieto. Was that not possible? Did he, was he not interested in he, the rematch? He, it was going to happen, uh, then there was TV reasons, then he had a defence, uh, and then he got an injury, and then he, he had to retire, so the fight was never going to come off. And yeah, really looking forward to having it again, the rematch with him, to set the record straight. But yeah, unfortunate, we've, I thought, win this, I could meet him further down the line, um, but it's not meant to be, so he's in retirement. I wish him all the best now. Um, but yeah, it's just one of them things, isn't it? Yeah, it's just really getting it. It wasn't made sooner, the rematch. Uh, so yeah, we, we move on to a new opponent in Anthony Yigit and uh, we look forward to it. Are you expecting a much tougher fight from Anthony Yigit that rather than the last two European title fights you had against Dorocco and Nieto? Um, well, I just suppose maybe, yeah. Every opponent's dangerous. Um, he's quite high up with the WBA rankings. Um, again, it's, it's just taking it round by round. He's, he's never been in 12 hard rounds in fight situations. In the gym, I'm sure he's done it plenty of times in sparring. Um, but yeah, you know, enough, I can't take nothing away from Dorocco and, and Ruben Nieto, top, top opponents as well. Um, but yeah, obviously I've got to be at my best, I know I will, and uh, get the win on Saturday. In the past, we've seen your name mixed around the likes of Ricky Burns a few times. Obviously now, Ricky Burns beating Michelle Dorocco as well. <laughs> Um, and gaining the WBA world title. No one likes to look past their opponents, but if you do win on Saturday night, is that the kind of opponent you want to be looking for? Well, I can't see why, why it couldn't happen. Yeah, it's an easy fight to make. Um, me and Ricky, um, we, we, you know, we've done many rounds of sparring, um, so I sort of know him anyway. Um, but of course it is, yeah, you always want them big fights, you're always looking ahead, but you obviously you've got to get this job done first. Um, so not get too excited. Uh, yeah, and to just look forward to Saturday night, put performance on, get the win, and then we, we see what, well, what, what Hennessy can do. It's, it's quite a shame in boxing. You don't see it so much nowadays, but the partnership with you and McHennessy is a very loyal and strong partnership, almost like what it is with uh, Tyson Fury and McHennessy as well. So can you give us a little bit of details about your friendship and your work with McHennessy? Oh, well, I've been with Mick from day one back in 2003. Uh, very close, um, you know. So he's always done good for me, um, yeah. And obviously, with the with the sort of setbacks with not winning his titles, slowed me up a little bit. Um, but yeah, take him out to Mick. Mick's always Mick's always got the best out of me. Uh, got got me in big fights, but I know we can go a step closer to the bigger ones. Um, but we just need this win on Saturday night. Uh, yeah, and I just take my hat to Mick for, for for getting this again over here, um, and we will just see what happens on Saturday. We know that you got a um, you had a back injury in December. That's the reason why the fight was pushed back. Can you give us a little bit of details what the injury actually was, and um, if it's all cleared up now, ready to Yeah, no. Out? What it was, it was um, my lower back, my left side, my lower back. Um, it started to tighten up on me, I, and I was getting, I've always had mass, sports massages, and I missed a few along the way. 
uh, and yeah, we had a few spars, it wasn't quite right, and I think it was the last two, three sessions, it was really clamping up on me, and we sat down with Ian Burbage, my trainer, and Mick Hennessy, and obviously a dangerous opponent like Anthony, it, was, it wasn't worth taking it, um, being 70%, you know, so it was postponed, be 100%, and come back a couple of months later, which, which we are now. It's been a long road, it's been a bit frustrating, but we're here now and just look forward to Saturday now. Yeah, the injury's 100% better and that's it, can't wait. Well, thanks for talking to PSG Sports today, Lenny. It's the first time we've had you on in, it's a pleasure to have you on in. We'll definitely no, catch up you. with you Saturday night as well. Yeah, no, brilliant, cheers. Okay, take care. Thank you, cheers.